So I'm on my way to go metal detecting, and in the field on the side of the driveway is this awesome international tractor. That thing is an antique, but um, maybe they're going to get it running and uh, whack down this field so I can get out here and see what's happening. Anyhow, I thought that was pretty cool. Y'all have a blessed day. And we're going to catch you on the first good target. Alrighty, folks. First good target of the day. First hole of the day. A nice saddle buckle. That's pretty cool. That's pretty old. Alright, catch you on the next one. Alrighty. Well, on the very next target. That was a 1961... See if we get in focus. 1961 dog tag. How cool is that? All right. It's going to be a good day. Catch you on the next good hole. Wow. So my next target is this piece here. If I can get it in the camera, it's kind of hard to see. But um, anyhow, I'm not sure what that is. Might be a, a brooch. It's a piece of jewelry. Something off a dresser. I don't know. Maybe I can get it cleaned up when I get home. And find out more about it. Alrighty. Catch you on the next good hole. Alrighty, folks. <clears throat> well, I got a good signal here. And uh, I'm not sure what I have. Maybe it's part of a shoe buckle. I don't know. But hey, that's pretty cool. Alright, I got another signal right over there where I muffed up the dirt the grass that's a bagging signal too so hopefully it's something really cool all right see you on the next one cool stuff all righty folks got a pretty good signal here I'm way down there in that hole look at that Woohoo! that's nice all right I love finding these relics out of uh all the treasure hunting I do, I think relic hunting is probably my favorite, when you, especially when you find stuff like this. Alrighty, we'll catch you on the next good hole. Alright, man, I am super excited about this one here. Way down here in this hole. Y'all see that? The buffalo nickel. Man, I love this hobby. Alrighty, we'll catch you on the next hole. All right, y'all, you're not going to believe this, but, man, I got a really good signal down here. And do you see it? I just brushed the dirt off of it. But, uh, yeah, baby, that's the second stirrup that I've dug off this property. How effing cool is that? I am so excited. Just another reason why I love this great hobby, man. You just never know what you're gonna find out here. Whew. All righty, I'm pretty excited. We'll catch you on the next hole. Mm. All right, well, I just got another really good signal about three foot from where I had dug that belt plate. And it kind of looks like a compact. I'm not sure yet. I'll get it cleaned up when I get it home. Get it open. Hell, there might be something in there. You never know. All right, off to the next good signal. All right, y'all. I just got another really good signal here. 
way down there in that hole is a buckle. How about that? That's pretty cool. Not sure it's a horse tack or what. But anyhow, cool find. I'll take it. Alrighty, folks. I'm still out here in this field where I dug the, uh, I think it's the dandy button and possibly another coin. But, um, I dug way down in there. I'm digging all signals right now at this point. But, uh, took a lot of work and I finally got it out. And you can see it right there. I think it's a leg off of a, maybe a wood stove or maybe a sewing machine. Uh, that's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting to find that out here. We'll see what else we have. All right, off to the next. All righty, folks, check this out. Solid 16. Solid. Mm-hmm. Y'all see it? Y'all see that right there? Oh, dang. <laughs> I thought I had something. It's a shotgun shell head stamp. <laughs> oh well, you dig these up from time to time as well. They fool you. All right, off to the next one. Well, folks, the targets out here in this field are far and few in between. But I just got a pretty good signal over here, and I believe I have a Fired bullet. How about that? That's pretty cool. Yeah, man. Look at that. All right. Off to the next hole. Let's see what else is out here. All righty. I got a really good signal here. I don't know what the hell it got. Another witch or something. But um, that's what it was. Or is. I'm not sure if it's a shoe form. Part of a plow or something. Anyhow, better than nothing. Catch you on the next hole. Alrighty, folks. Well, we've been out here for a good while hunting this field. And uh, Randy's over there. I just called him over and I was like, dude, come see what I just found. Y'all see that right there? Round us in a hole, y'all. What I'm talking about. Look at that. That is sweet. Oh, yeah. Love finding these buttons. Uh, I think it might be a Tomback. It looks pewter. Rang up solid 12. And they normally do. But, uh, Sweet find, all right. We'll catch you on the next one. All righty, well, I'm back at this property where I've been quite a few times. Went through an area that I've gone over several times. Way down there in that hole. Got me a buckle. That thing's pretty dang old right there, y'all. Whoops. But, um, that's it right there. I believe it's horse tack, but who knows? Um, but I do know it is pretty old. All right, we'll catch you on the next good hole. Well, this was interesting. As most of you know, I dig all signals if it's repeatable. And if even if it's jumpy, I'll still dig it. And I'm glad I did because what I pulled out of the hole seemed to be a piece of jewelry. Looks like it might have been a brooch or a pin or something. But, um, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like finding the jewelry. So, uh, we'll keep on getting it through here and see what else we can find. All right. All right, y'all, I'm going to show you my skip rocking. All right, y'all, I'm going to show you my rock skipping technique. Here we go. Wasn't that beautiful? 
Amazing, honey. How long did it take you to perfect that? Oh, all my life. Wow. Thanks for sharing that with us. Take two. <laughs> Woo. Touchdown. All righty. Well, Mrs. Whitney here. Done oddball. Chicken of the woods. Look at that. Freshy. Fresh. Come on, pick that and eat it tonight. Yum, yum. Eat them up.